with the first pick in the first round of the 2004 MLS Super Draft. DC United picks from Potomac, Maryland, Mr. Freddie Adu. In 2004, Home Depot Center again set the stage for MLS Cup. Pleased to crown the ninth champion of Major League Soccer. DC Today, United Martin. faced the Kansas City Wizards in what would turn out to be an explosive matchup. DC United, by far the league's most dominant club of the 90s, was returning to the championship after a long absence and a series of lackluster regular season performances. 15-year-old phenom Freddie Adu would be appearing in his first MLS Cup in his first MLS season. DC United is, you know, when this league began, they won a lot of championships, and, you know, now, you know, we still got, we got to get back there, and hopefully I can help in doing that. High expectations and media buzz seemed to follow this young star wherever he played, and this day was no different. I'm just going to go out there and play, you know? I got to take my game to a whole other level, and then my mental state has to be very strong because there's going to be a lot of challenges that, that I'm going to have to overcome, and I'm really ready for that right now. It was also the first cup as a head coach for DC United's Peter Novak. First year head coach Peter Novak, first person in MLS history to appear as both a player and a head coach. He's a guy that definitely made this team better. Nobody better on the field. Have him stand right next to you and fix a problem on the fly. Nobody better that I've ever seen. Kansas City's Bob Gansler had been here and won before. In just the sixth minute, Jose Bursiaga shocked an unsuspecting DC side when he let loose a blistering shot from outside. Let's it go from distance. Bursiaga scores, beating Romano from downtown. But this is just a blast. That was unexpected. This is a guy that didn't score a goal during the regular season. Comes up big here with an early goal for Kansas City. Kansas City's advantage was short-lived. D.C. would soon turn the tables with an astonishing three successive goals in just seven minutes. United forward Aleko Eskandarian, the son of a New York Cosmo, would lead the charge. You cannot hit a ball any better than that. You know, this, this game has become a battle of one-on-ones. Aleko Eskandarian just won that one. Eskandarian was a threat every time he touched the ball. And that was it there for Eskandarian. He's got two. This DC run was not without controversy. Kansas City's going to appeal for a handball. A critical handball went uncalled. Kansas City argued unsuccessfully. D.C. up to the one they trailed one to nothing earlier. Stewart. Minutes later, Kansas City deflected in an own goal off an Ernie Stewart cross. This, this D.C. United is not going to take their foot off the accelerator. This is a nightmare for Kansas City. Three to one now. D.C. United. They just flip it. They flip the whole game and they just took over. It was pretty much Peter Novak's coming out party as a viable coach. You know, up to that point, he was just a player in a suit on the sidelines. And he became a coach that day. That's it for the first half. Kansas City can't wait to get into the locker room at halftime to talk things over. The first half expired with D.C. sitting on a comfortable 3-1 to one lead. In the second half, D.C. veteran Jaime Moreno continued to control the midfield for the black and red. Another D.C. handball. This one the officials would see and resulted in a Kansas City penalty kick and an ejection for Dima Kovalenko. And this game is going to change yeah. dramatically. The red card's coming out. It's the first red card in MLS Cup history, so Kovalenko goes in the books the way he didn't want to. This is the game right here. Josh Wolf has brought Kansas City back. First made penalty kick in MLS Cup history. Every click on that clock means something now. I think the way this game's going to play out, there will come an opportunity with about 20 minutes to go to Freddie Brugge. All eyes were on a young adieu when he entered the match, replacing Eskandarian in the 65th minute. I guess he's coming in. Obviously, Peter Novak has confidence in this young player to put him on here in his biggest stage. Adu proved himself with a series of impressive runs that brought the crowd to its feet. Garcia. Look at him fly. Finally broke it up, but he almost gets to that ball. I'll tell you what, his teammates appreciate that. That's what he's out there to do. 
Desperate to tie, Kansas City continued to push. DC held on. Ball poked for Taylor, looking, shooting it low. Raimondo holds on. That's it. That's it. DC United are champions again for the fourth time. As the whistle blew, DC would take the cup for a record fourth time. MLS Cup glory had returned to DC United, and a rookie coach and a rookie player had proven themselves under pressure. We saw a guy that's played in this league have that understanding of the way this is supposed to work and connect to, connects with their players and gets the most out of them. Win a championship. It's now my pleasure to present the Allen I. Rothenberg MLS Cup trophy to the captain of DC United, Ryan Nelson. <laughs> to all those fans over there, all the DC United fans that came to LA to make this trip, and all the DC United fans back home.